2,000 years ago, North Africa was part of the Roman Empire. The Roman legions stationed in Alexandria, as well as the legions in Spain, were always present in the minds of the people of Africa Proconsularis, as the Romans called it. There was trade and commerce by sea, northward across the Mediterranean. Political power was in the hands of the emperor and the senate in Rome. And generally, North Africa prospered and was at peace, and people were content to think of themselves as both African and Roman. This is the story of the first five centuries when North Africa was the home of a vibrant Christian church of thousands of ordinary men and women who trusted in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. During the persecutions under the Romans, there were men and women alike who were prepared to die rather than renounce their faith in Christ. There were great church leaders in North Africa, Tertullian, the legal advocate and apologist, Augustine, the theologian, Victor, a Berber who became the Bishop of Rome, and Quadvalt Deus, who gave courage to the church at a time of persecution under the Vandals. But the church stood strong, as it had done for 400 years. This is their story. Today, people are wanting to understand their heritage. In the church world, we owe a great deal of our history to the brave Christians willing to die for their faith in North Africa. The Silliton martyrs, 12 people, seven men and five women died not compromising their faith. Perpetua, a lady of noble birth and slave girl Felicitas died together in the arena. North Africans not only stood firm in their faith, but they gave us concepts and theology we still use today such as the origin of the word Trinity and the doctrine of Christ being all human and all man. They honed many of the thinking and literary skills used today for interpreting scripture. Why heritage? Why now? It is important to share the heritage from North Africa so that we understand the richness of our past and the high price that was paid for the church. This project was born from the cries of believers and workers in North Africa to share with millions of local people the rich Christian history of the region. Sharing the Heritage Project by adding a host from your own language will help build spiritual growth and understanding of our rich heritage. These stories will strengthen the global church that comes under more and more persecution. It will empower people to decide to follow Christ no matter what. We all need to hear these stories. The Heritage Project.